Hey guys, Metal Drummer here. So I thought I'd give you guys an update on the Suzuki GSX 750F that I own. Uh, as some of you may know, I recently bought a Triumph Speed Triple, and a lot of people had asked what I'm going to do with this bike. Well, considering I recently just bought a new set of tyres, new sprockets, new chain, gave it a full once over, and it's probably in the best running order it's been since I got it. Uh, I'm probably not going to get rid of it. And I don't think I would have got rid of it anyway because this bike is very comfortable and very suitable for commuting. And now I've just almost done 50,000 Ks, which is a lot of Ks um, under, under two years. And I think she's trying to tell me something. What's that? You like boobs? That odometer though. She likes boobs. Now, from my experience, if you find a woman that likes boobs, you hang on to her. So, I think I'll hang on to this one. Plus, she's the only one that gets wet, even though it was rain. She gets wet without me trying and lets me sit on top of her and be on top of her as much as I want that telling me to get the fuck off and that I'm fat and heavy and whatever so you know I've been I've been on pretty long trips with this bike been up to Harvey Bay and back in um, you know almost every weekend I'll go on a 300 kilometer ride you know not so much lately but in the past it used to happen every weekend and now I think I'll just keep her as a commuter and keep the speed triple for the rides on the weekends. And it's funny because most of my mates and myself agreed that I'm just not going to like this bike after riding the speed triple. Um, I thought that that's it. I'll just won't want to ride it. And the first day I rode it to work after I had the speed triple, which is like three days after I had bought the speed triple, I you know, long weekend. I thought I'll take this take this bike in, see how I go, and I loved it. If anything, I enjoyed it more than I would have before I got the Speed Triple. There's things about this bike that the Speed Triple doesn't have, and the seat is much more comfortable. Um, I'll admit the Speed Triple's upright position's a lot better, uh, a lot more comfortable in that way, but this bike's a lot more, you know, controllable, and, and it doesn't want to just take off on you. It's very good for relaxed riding and the motorway. I honestly don't notice much difference with the wind. Um, but I may be just used to that, I don't know, from riding dirt bikes. So, really, after 50,000 Ks, I still say this is a great bike. You know, I it's a four-cylinder carbureted. It's not going to be stupidly quick but I still get a little thrill out of her every now and then when I pull the throttle on it's you know still a great bike to ride and I you know it's done 80,000 now bought it with just over 30 and I've had no problems with it none at all you know nothing that's you know, worth even mentioning. I've just had like flat tyres and had to have oil services and all that, just the normal stuff. When almost every single car I've owned, I've had major problems with, like engine mounts being broken and and diffs shattering and exploding and shit. It's just like, you know, and that's actually why I partly got into motorbike riding, because I figured if stuff blows up on a motorbike, it's going to be a lot cheaper to fix. And it has been, you know, when I do um, tyres are, uh, you know, a little uh, expensive on motorbikes. But, you know, like all the other stuff, um, it's fairly cheap and a lot of it I can just do myself anyway. But anyway, guys, I hope you've enjoyed the video. I just thought I'd do a, a little update on, um, on the Suzuki. You know, I... Um, I was intending to do a re-review, but really I haven't done enough to it for it to be worthy um, 
you know, of doing a re-review of because I'm happy with it as it is. Since, since I've bought the bike, I've put a aftermarket slip-on on. I've put um, bar end mirrors and um, short clutch and brake levers, and that's it. And I'm very happy with it. And, uh, I'll keep it for as long as it lasts, I think. Unless I really get sick of it. Unless something really, you know, pisses me off about it. Or if Rego becomes too ex exy. But I've, I've already decided I'm probably going to convert this to a single seater. As, as well as the speed triple. I don't get pillions on often enough for it to be worth it. Um, you know, but I may keep this one as a pillion bike. I don't know. I'll work it out, but either way, I don't think it's um, that big of a deal, the Rego, of having an extra vehicle. And I will be deregistering the dirt bike, the WR450F. Decided to have a little break from that, as odd as that sounds. Um, I just feel like it's time to have a break from it, as weird as that is. Just, yeah, so. But anyway, guys, that's the end of this video. I hope you enjoy it, and I'll see you next time. See ya.